<clears throat> All right, greetings everybody and welcome back to my Fly It Like You Stole It YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Lacey, I'm the host of this channel and uh, today I'm going to begin building an engine. Now for those of you that are following me on Facebook through my Texas Air Fleet uh, Facebook account, you might recall that last summer coming back from Oshkosh, Wisconsin to Dallas, I had uh, what I refer to as a, an engine in the process of destroying itself. The poor little A65 that's mounted on the front of my little tailor craft here uh, began giving me the smell of a machine shop when I stopped to check the oil. And noting that's not a good thing, I've never smelled that smell before under the hood of this little airplane. I've been flying this airplane since 1976. So I'm kind of used to it. So when something unusual pops up, it's time to investigate. My investigation last year consisted of first process of taking an oil sample as soon as I got home. I took this oil sample and I sent it off to a lab, spectrographic analysis lab, and they didn't waste time with email or anything else. They picked up the phone and called me and said that the inside of the engine is eating itself up. Well. <clears throat> Again, my Facebook page has a lot of pictures of my disassembly of the engine. Uh, the problem with the engine was that it had received some contamination in the oil system, and that contamination began eating up the crankshaft and the camshaft as well. Now, I was real frustrated about that. You can see the scoring and the lines on that crankshaft, I hope. And so, as a result, I had to start and begin a long laborious task of hunting down another crankshaft for my swivel engine. In addition, my camshaft had some lobes that were getting a little worn beyond limits and slightly beyond limits. Now, I wasn't really sure I was ready to scrap the crankshaft, but my engine consultants suggested I do just that. So, anyway, I now have a new crankshaft with the mains are cut at 10 under, the rod journals are cut at 20 under, uh, here's my crankshaft right here, standing on a stand ready to go. My, I have a new camshaft. My crankcase has been off to the shop, has been uh, uh, repaired, line board, inspected, and tested and certified. All my cylinders have been done. My crankshaft, my connecting rods, uh, pistons have all been weighed and balanced. So I'm about ready to start the process of building this engine. But I'm going to walk down the aisle here. I'm going to pick up this little right, uh, GoPro and I'm going to walk down my table here and show you all the parts that we're going to do. I'll then cut this video off and I'll begin another one as we begin the assembly process of this little engine. Keep in mind, all the parts have been out for certification. Everything is good to go now. Uh, hopefully, this is the week before Oshkosh. I have a week to build this little engine up and the noodle with some other little maintenance issues on the airplane. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you guys in Oshkosh. But in the meantime, bear with me here. Here's all my cylinders. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at those pretty little connecting rods. Aren't they pretty? All balanced. All of them lined up as to where they go. Here's my camshaft. Really nice and pretty. I got reconditioned lifter bodies. Got a whole mess of reconditioned lifters. My crankcase has been all off to the shop, has been inspected, has been painted. Oh, it looks pretty. Let's just see how long it takes me to get this little airplane together. Here's my other crankcase half. There's my crankshaft. And as you'll see over here, I'm already kind of anxiously beginning the process of putting together this is my accessory housing. This will be where we begin the process with, and I will be back with you on this, the, the accessory housing, in just a few minutes. So, if you'll bear with me, we'll get ready to rock and roll. We'll start building us an engine. Look forward to seeing you back here in a few minutes. Thank you.